It's been a while, I know, I know. It's been a it's been a minute. But um I'm still doing it. Uh yeah, I'm still doing it. Uh I'm still trying to get eBay to get me to top rated, but it is still hard. Months later, months later, it is hard to get eBay. I, I had, the other day I had a 99 point like seven or something. Um, then someone gave me a bad feedback like two days ago. And they're saying that they never got their package, but um, the package, the, the tracking number literally said that it, it went to the house twice. Um, I don't know why the mail person didn't leave it at their house. I don't know, I don't know. But um, they left a angry message saying that they've been waiting forever, blah, blah, blah. And I like, hey, I wrote to them like, hey, uh, Literally, can you like please look at the tracking number and please call your post office because they've sent it to your house already. And then they're like, oh, oh. I'm like, can you please leave, take off the bad feedback? Because this is really messing me up. Really. Um, yeah. So. Um, that's that. Like. Months later, I'm still struggling to get on eBay's top-rated list, top-rated seller, and I'm like back-to-back -back being consistent. I am putting stickers. I'm giving them discounts. People, I've gotten over uh, over 230 feedback, and I would say 99.9% .9 is good feedback. And then I might have like two neutrals and three negatives and then yeah i'm still working off that those uh those uh those um ah, there's a mail lady oh hold this water I'm look i was looking for the mail i'm hunting for the mail lady because i have you see that i've i've joined another uh platform and it's really good if ebay poshmark and Here's my mail lady. She sees me and she's just like, yep, it's time. I have sold over, over like 600 packages on this one app. Let me, uh, let me go handle this real quick. Have a good day.
Oh yeah. So back to what I was saying. Um, yeah, so I joined. I got accepted. Well, this person's driving crazy. They they could have just taken the thing. Um, I got accepted to this app called Whatnot. And if eBay, Poshmark, Macari doesn't, I feel like it's more about eBay. Because Macari and Posh, they have their own little thing curved out. Um, but Macari, I think, will give eBay a big run for its money. Because people, I feel like I could see people getting fed up of eBay and just signing up to Macari. And literally, <clears throat> my sales for the whole year. I'm literally catching up. I literally, I've only been on the app for almost a month now. Almost a month. Probably like three weeks now. And my sales are literally, ra this is my eBay sales, right? And this is my my, um, my whatnot sales, catching up to it. So right now, I think whatnot is like eBay on, on speed or something. So, yeah, and then I sell in, so right now I think there's a big backlog on people trying to join it. Cause it like everyone, every time I do a stream, cause it's like a live auctioning type of deal. It's like a QVC or the shop, shop, shop home shopping network type of deal, um, but bidding. So you're, you're doing the live aspect of uh, Instagram live and eBay bidding. And it's like a bunch of micro bids that people, not micro bids, but like bid, it's just bids basically. Yeah. You start your price and then people bid to whatever they feel they think that, uh, they're willing to pay for that product. So you sell in, you sell in categories, uh, unlike eBay where you can sell on any category on whatnot, you could kind of sell. It's only category. There's only a few categories on whatnot, but I sell in two. Uh, thrift and vintage and video games um, and those are my two Ebays so uh, yeah and yesterday was my first time uh, doing a video game stream which went very well which is what you saw that was only half of it I didn't even package the other half so that is crazy if you yeah crazy last night i sold over a hundred games it's me well when it comes to video games it's me and my friend uh his like online name is uh link ninjas go follow him on twitch go follow link ninjas on twitch and i think he's on youtube but i don't think he uploads a lot on youtube but you can and i think on youtube his name is link ninja not link ninjas uh, but on he's he's building his twitch stream right now. He's trying to get more followers So if you can go follow him and so like I say when it comes to video games, it's me and him uh, we're trying to start like a, a video game resale business and then When it comes to when it comes to like clothes, it's just me and that's uh that's um saved by thrift so go follow me on Instagram, saved by thrift C O M. Thank you. But yes, I feel like in the, in the upcoming years, it's gonna be a battle between whatnot and, and, and eBay. So I can really see people getting fed up of eBay because I I'm not a, I'm not a person who's gonna give up. I'm gonna let both streams happen, eBay and Amazon happen. But I can see people both, someone saying, why would I waste my time on eBay filling out all these things when I can just take all my, take a hundred clothes and sell them in two hours. Right? So that's where, that's where it's at. That's where it's at. So, um, but I'm not giving up on eBay. I'm still hoping that I can I can build that eBay store up to where I'm making that um, income every month uh, that well my goal my 
my my first goal i guess i should scale it down but my first goal is 30 grand a month but maybe trying to get uh 10 grand a month uh that would be nice 10 grand a month would be very nice that's more than what most people make in two months you know so uh yeah i'm trying to get that 30 to 10 grand a month on ebay and then also trying to try i'm still trying to figure out a good schedule for myself for whatnot because whatnot can tire you out that is the that is one of the um, downsides of whatnot it can burn you out if you're doing a stream every single day you will be burnt out because it's between because with whatnot there's there's like uh you have the pre you got a pre you got there's like it's like a production there's the the beginning stage the actual streaming and then the end so i'd say the beginning is like setting everything up all the equipment that you need to stream with um all the listings quick listings like the name or if you want to do a quick thing like t1 t2 all the way to t100 blah 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 and then doing the actual stream and then after that shipping oh shipping shipping when i do a whatnot stream when i do a whatnot stream is this person not going when i do a whatnot stream it is it is tiring afterwards it is so uh yesterday when we when we were doing it me and like ninjas he streams on he streams on um twitch and i'm like this is not like twitch bro this is not like twitch twitch you get to sit down you got you, you you're having fun playing video games on one night you're having fun if you want to have fun um on one night you're having fun but i feel like there's more there's more talking and there's more uh interacting and sometimes you got to get up because some people are like i can't see what you're showing so you got to get up and show them sometimes you just you just stand you just you just stay and stand up and decide to just stand up for like an hour and you're showing them stuff like oh look blah 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 blah, 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 blah. Uh, so yeah one knock can really bring you out if you if you're trying to and that was like my first week what i did a show every single day i i knew i was telling myself i'm gonna burn myself i'm gonna i'm gonna do a burnout my first week and it was super successful my first week on whatnot was extremely successful my second week i think i felt the burn and i was being lazy i think i missed like i, I told myself i was gonna do another burnout and i did like i think i did like uh three to four days i don't know and then uh last week i last week i was not it's not that i wasn't feeling it i was messing up uh i wasn't catering to to my my um to my followers to buyers i was thinking i could go out the out the box and do another thing like uh so whatnot the t-shirt community it's all about like vintage t-shirts shirts you can collect in general uh and just really unique things i was like let me bring in some kid clothes wasn't feeling I, I stood there for an hour looking so stupid just like oh look kid clothes blah 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 and everyone's like we're waiting for the for the tees bro because they the people on here on there they're they collect they're, they're collectors of of vintage clothes and of unique shirts and NASCAR, bear, um, like bars, um, all the cool t-shirt companies like Grateful Dead or, or Liquid, I guess Liquid Blue and stuff like that. Um, so I was, yeah, last week I, I did like two failed shows but you know you you get just got to you just got to bounce back that's all
So the kid clothes, I'm gonna put back on. I'm gonna keep on eBay, and just um, uh, slowly sell those, I guess. Um, and yeah, so that is whatnot. Whatnot is like putting eBay on turbo charge, and no, whatnot is like strapping two. Uh, NASA rocket ships to 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 eBay and letting it rip. Uh, so yeah, but you gotta be prepared to let go of some stuff. Like a lot of things, just go for a dollar. And it's like, huh? Oh, thought that would go for more. Things I have on eBay for like you know for an X amount of money, just went for a dollar or two dollars and whatnot. But you, you know what? There's so many. So many sales are coming in. It just, it's its like, oh, okay. I, I can't get too mad, but I was a little upset on that one, that one item. But it's all good. So you live, you live and you learn. So right now, me and Link Ninjas, go follow him on Twitch. Um, we are source, we're going to go source for more games. Uh, we are actually, we have, we have like 20 NESs. He's gonna work on those, get those ready and to go. Um, we have some, we have some PS ones, and we're looking for some X, some Xboxes and, and some Playstations and some Nintendos, like a, like the Nintendo Wii or something. Oh, I thought I heard something. I thought I heard my car like making weird noise. But that's that's what's been happening with me. With me, uh, whatnot sales, eBay sales, they're slow, but they come in. Um, and yeah. And uh, what else is there? I'm still working on my website. I feel like I've been neglecting the site. Oh, I think that's the noise. I do hear the noise again. Oh, it's okay. It's the people working on the new houses. The nail guns for the roof. I'm like, is that my engine? <laughs> but yeah, I, I need to I need to work on my website. Because uh, I want that to be a thing. Savebythrift.com I want that, I want traffic to go there so where I don't have to rely on anyone else. These other apps are really cool and I'm really grateful, but also I would like for my site to, to start getting traffic and so that where I can also build on my site, maybe hopefully hire someone. That's so bizarre to even like, try to say like oh I'm gonna hire someone but with these apps being helping me you know helping me catapult myself to another level of reselling and hopefully go beyond reselling well my goal is to have my reselling business hopefully too now with the games uh, have my reselling business and then move on to move on to like investing into like real estate. I guess, you know, it's it's the, it's your typical finance bro type style fairy tale where they make they make some money from something and then they branch on off and then they, they buy houses and start building houses and investing in different things. I also want to, my goal to live off of dividends is still there. I'm still really, really trying with the dividends um i yeah i'm just building my my my, my dividend portfolio i kind of screwed myself up with some um with some <laughs> with some oh boy with some what's it call it i can't even say the name with some um Holy crap. I screwed myself up 
doing some big plays with uh, options. But I still love options. Options are pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna start adding more options to my to my rotation of things that I do. Uh, buying crypto, making option plays, buying long-term investment, uh, long-term stock holds. Like my one of my favorite right now is S and P Y, S P Y Spy. Uh, I don't know why I would. I would never. I don't think I would ever stop buying it because they gave me a really good reason to. I've added some QQQs to my stuff, and I sprinkle a buy here and there of other things, but most of my stuff is just ETFs and REITs. And yeah, so I'm really trying to hit the goal of getting my my stocks up so I can get my portfolio going. And I think this is the end of this end of this this blog. Yeah. Follow me on TikTok. I don't really do much on there, but follow me. It's my name is Kingsley Goof. I do like workout videos, kinda, and then whatever comes to mind. I feel like that's gonna be my little outlet of being goofy. Well, I'm a goofy guy in general, but. Uh, Follow me on TikTok. Follow me. Follow me on Instagram. My my business Instagram, Saved by Thrift. Uh, if you want to follow me on my real Instagram, it's uh, Black in Space. And yeah, so I'll catch you guys later because I'm gonna try to make more YouTube videos to help to just tell you how things are going. And the new wave, and which is this whatnot. It's crazy. People always ask me how to how do they get on. Literally, someone um, referenced me or referred me to whatnot, and and then yeah. So right now, people are trying to get on whatnot, and they can't. I think it's just that there's too many orders, too many things happening right now. Whatnot's so new. Uh, so. That literally, they're like, how long did it take you? Because I get feel like people have been signing up and not hearing anything from anyone. I think the fastest way is to get um, to get catapulted onto the to the platform is by reference. So hit me up, uh, email me. Uh, you can email. I don't know which one I should put out. I guess save by thrift at gmail dot com. Um, email me there. Actually. Follow me on Instagram. I won't, I won't, I won't. Follow me on Instagram and then DM me. And then um, I will try to, I will, because there's a, I have to fill out a form to get you on. So there's like a series of questions. And it's it's very simple. It's like, what's your name? What do you, um, are you a reseller? Where do you resell? Such and such and such. Stuff like that. So if you're a reseller and you're watching this and you want to get a whatnot, hit me up. I do make a commission but also it's me helping you get on the platform because that's how you get on the platform faster that's how i got on the platform i literally someone someone i know was uh he's a big reseller and he's like do you want to have you heard about this one not thing and i'm like no he's like bro check it out and i and i saw his i saw a couple of his shows i'm like yo that's crazy he's like if you want to get on one not let me know and so I was like, sure. And a week later, they they we did an interview like through Skype or whatever. We were using Google, whatever. And I talked to someone and then they're like, it seems like you're a good fit. So yeah, but I think they really care about the people that's on their platform. So, uh, so that's another thing. So if you're someone who hasn't ever resold before uh, maybe try to sell stuff el elsewhere and build your um, build your thing. But I don't know what they're looking for, like on a consistent on, on a daily basis. Maybe they allow new resellers that know nothing about reselling to test them out. Um, but I know if you're like a YouTube star, they'll you they'll they'll seem that they're new. They need more. They need new. They need they need more um, things on your. They need more eyes on their platform, so 
So, I know I was rambling on, and yeah, so I'm going to go now. Bye.